Hey friends, I was asked to do a couple makeup video tutorials on how I do my eyes. So this is another way to do your eyeshadow, especially if you have hooded eyes like I do. Um, first, you're going to want to start with an eye primer and put it on your eyes. I just put a little bit on and I take my finger here and I kind of just pat it in. The eye primer that I'm using today is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. It's anti-aging because let's face it, I'm not getting any younger. You're only as old as you feel. Right? Right. So we are going to use a neutral palette. It's the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. Um, I do love ColourPop palettes. I love all palettes, but um, ColourPop is fairly inexpensive and you get a ton of colors, nine colors in there. As you can see, one color's missing because my little princess decided she should play with mommy's palette and lose, lose one of my little shadows. Um, the nice thing about these palettes is um, if you buy multiple ones and say you're going on vacation, um, they are magnetic so you can take um, a magnet and pull them out and rearrange them and do whatever you want with them and add different colors in there if you needed to go somewhere and you had, you know, maybe two palettes at you and you didn't want to take both. So we are going to start by putting a base color down. I am putting this ivory color. It's called Shredded. This one right here. And I am going to just apply that with a flat brush to my lid. Now I'm holding my palette mirror down and I'm looking at it so I don't have to close my eyes. I can keep them open and see what I'm doing um, as I'm applying my makeup. But I put a base color down to allow the other colors to move better over that primer. Next, we are going to take this color called Nutty. It is a dark brown. I am going to put it on my lower lid and I'm going to tilt my brush up um, like this. Instead of applying it facing up, I'm going to apply it down. And I'm going to look down and I'm going to apply it in an upward motion on my lid and I'm going to pull it up towards my brow bone where my brow bone begins. Now I always tap my eyeshadow on my palette to um, to release any extra because it's always easier to add color. It's harder to take it away. So this allows me to build the intensity of my color like I said you're just going to pull it up like this to the brow bone right where it starts I'm gonna flip it the other way and I'm gonna go down into the corner of my eye here the inner corner So I get my whole bottom lid. Okay, so now you can see that that is all on my lower lid. Next, I am going to take a crease brush. My brushes don't have numbers, ladies. I just go and buy brushes. Um, I have e.l.f. brushes. I have, I'll have. i buy Morphe brushes when they're on sale. I'm a sucker for deals. Um, so they don't have numbers on them, but they do have names, and this is a crease brush. So I'm going to go in and then take this lighter brown, more like a tan color. It's called Colada. And then I'm going to put it um, where my brow bone is, and then I will blend it out and get it all smudged out. So right where that dark brown ends, we're going to put this 
lighter shade and we're going to bring it down to that inner corner we're going to pull it all the way out to the outer corner I do like this method method because it allows you to um, create a not so bold look so it's not like crazy out there okay I'm going to take a clean clean fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that a little bit better using just a windshield wiper motion and you can just swirl it on the outside and the inside get it all blended here right and you're pretty much done with your eye at this point I am a sucker for sparkles so I am going to take a smaller crease brush this is actually called a precision point shadow brush and I've got to apply some sparkle I gotta apply some sparkle to my eye so I'm gonna take the cocoa it's this cute little color right here it's kind of like a pinky brown and I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my brush and I just want to apply it right under my eye brow just to give it a little little shine up there and literally I'm just following my art and going out to that corner so that's it for your eye pretty much um, if you don't use eyeliner or don't wear eyeshadow under your eye apply mascara and you're done I usually add stuff to the bottom of my eye um, let's take a, I don't play with eyeliner very often, but we're going to do it today. So I am going to take a brown eyeliner. This is a NYX or NYX eyeliner. It is slide on, glide on, stay on. Um, waterproof extreme eyeliner and it's called brown perfection now this is going to be a little um, maybe a little creepy but I'm going to line my waterline here Okay, and then I'm going to um, go under my lashes a little bit with it too. And I'm going to take like an eyeliner smudger and just smudge it out. And it, you are done. That's it. We'll get it cleaned up. Um, I like to use these corner, I call them corner, pointed um, Q-tips. I found these on Amazon. They're pointed on both ends. They're great for cleaning up your um, eye makeup. I like to clean up my edge. I like to make it a little sh like more defined, sharper looking. If you have hooded eyes, you want your makeup to go look like it's going up instead of down because then your eyes 
um, when you, you bring your makeup all the way down here, which I've learned over the years, makes your eyes look droopy. Um, and we don't have time for saggy eyes. Last but not least, we're going to go in, add some mascara. You can use a lash primer if you want fuller looking mascara. I'm going, I'm not going to do that today. The mascara I am using is Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. There are so many mascaras out on the market. Um... I also like the Kat Von D mascara as well. And I kind of flubbed up my mascara. I have a little fleck right there. I'm going to show you a little hack really quick. If you ever mess up your mascara or you get mascara on your lid, you are going to want to take a, let it dry for a few minutes, seconds. Um, and then you're going to take a spoolie and you're just going to go in and like flick it off. can see I have some just right there by my lash line and I'm just gonna flick it off and you're done your eye is done so this is just another way to do your eye makeup um if you have hooded eyes have a great day we'll chat with you later bye